Back to the end of another of my covers this week I did I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. So this cover came about because basically I realised that I've got a lot of, of songs from like the 70s, 80s and a load of noughties songs and quite a few current ones. 90s is like the decade that I'm currently missing a lot of like and some older stuff I could do with working some, I'm trying to work in some older, older stuff into my repertoire as well but I'm not really that sort of a singer anyway whereas I feel like 90s, I need a bit more 90s in there. But anyway, I was trying to think of songs from more of that sort of decade, more of that sort of 90s, early noughties, really early noughties sort of era music that I could throw in. And this one popped up. This was just one that I, I can't remember why. I think I heard it. I think I was looking through old X Factor auditions or something because I like to I like to look through old audition show shows and adverts and things like that to find covers. And I think this was one that a contestant did on X Factor. And I thought, oh, Strip back version of that works pretty well because it's not too, it's not a very busy song in the original. It's not got a lot on it in the original anyway. So it works as a strip back acoustic number and it works with or without the harmonies that you get in it because it's not got a massive number of really important harmonies that if, if you drop them out, it, it sounds weird. Side note, because I forgot to say this, I am blonde, briefly, again, this will not last. This is literally just gonna be for this one video because I'm I'm dyeing it again tomorrow. It's just gone a nice-ish shade of blonde, so I decided to give my head a bit of rest before I put the next color on. I was just gonna go straight for the next color straight away. But anyway, I'm trying to get that multicolored hair that I had to look brighter, basically. So yes, I am briefly blonde again, but this is not this is not a new look that's gonna stick around for much because I've been blonde for so long that I'm not going back blonde anytime soon. So this is just brief. But it worked out quite well because it meant that I got to wear this cute outfit again. My cute little, it's got, it's got a kitten on the, on the tie. I'm gonna wear this to the Carly Rae Jepsen gig, I think. Definitely gonna wear this to the Carly Rae Jepsen gig. Anyway, completely irrelevant to the cover. I actually find this really challenging to do because even though it's not a big vocal, you know, it's not like, it's not a massively high or low song and it's not a massive vocal really, but it's actually more challenging than you'd think. It's deceptively easy sounding, but it actually isn't because there are loads of little runs in there. And when I'm doing runs that low for me, because it's quite, you know, it's, it's at one of the lowest points in my range and doing runs in your lower range is actually a little bit harder than doing runs in your higher range. I find it easier to do runs in my head voice or my falsetto than in like the depths of my chest voice. It's, I find that really hard. You gotta have, you got like my diaphragm is very tired right now. <laughs> But it has also obviously got that big key change in it and I don't usually like a key change, especially a boy band key change. It's like the get off the chair moment and I just no, too Westlife for me. Um, but I do think it works well in this song and I think this song sounds a little bit wrong if you don't do the key change because it's in such a climactic moment and because it, it happens like it's the last chorus is just the key change where rather than having, because quite often they do it like they have a last chorus that is sung twice and there's a key change between the two last choruses and I, I don't like that. But this one, because that whole last chorus is where the key change happens and it happens in such a climactic moment, it sounds wrong if you take the key change out, I think. But anyway, yeah, 
that is this week's cover. A few things to tell you guys about. I have a competition running over on my Facebook page at the moment, so if you haven't checked out my social media yet, you should definitely do that because I am running a competition over on my Facebook. There'll be a link in the description rather than just telling you to go search it. It'll be easier just to click on the link. And that competition is to win uh, the, the picture I drew in one of my speed art videos that I did for Wear Me Out recently. So I'll, that will be linked on the end screen if you want to check that video out. And if you like that artwork and you think you might want a chance at winning it, you should check out my Facebook page and check out the pinned post, pinned post on my Facebook page to find out how to enter the competition. If you did enjoy this cover, then you should check out the rest of my channel. I do a cover every single Monday, so if you subscribe, then you'll know when the next one comes out. And check out my other channel as well. I run a channel called Hi, It's Emma, where I just talk, and I talk mostly about social issues in pop culture and general stuff that's going on in the world, uh, specifically a lot about music, but also about other aspects of pop culture as well. And I've got a video that I'm gonna be doing this week on The Good Place. So if you enjoyed The Good Place and you wanna just join me to wax lyrical about how much you loved it, that'll be going up. Anyway, that's all for this week, guys, and I'll see you next week with another cover.